Welcome back everyone. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a comparison between the newly released Samsung Galaxy S21 and the somewhat older iPhone 11. Now both these phones are kind of actually not really the same price. The iPhone 11 you can pick up brand new for $499. The iPhone, the Galaxy S21 you can pick up for $799. So keep that in mind. Now I'll find the cheapest ones of both of these. Link them down in the description below. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now first things first, looking on the front, you can kind of see that there kind of roughly around the same size in the hand the galaxy s21 feels like the slimmer phone the iphone 11 feels a little bit wider however i think the s21 is a little bit longer so keep that in mind on the front of the iphone 11 we still have that 6.1 inch ips panel and really it's been a pretty good panel since the start i really don't think it's that bad of a panel it still looks pretty good you have that notch up top as you can see and there's a little bit of bezel around it, but it's not really like a super outdated design, at least for an iPhone, mostly because when you look at, you know, the newer iPhones, they still pretty much look like this. So nothing has really changed there. So this thing on the front still doesn't look that outdated or that bad, but you can definitely tell when you look at this phone against the Galaxy S21 in this form, you can see that the iPhone 11 does look a little bit outdated. On the front of the Galaxy S21, we do have that 6.2 inch dynamic AMOLED display and it's a 1080p panel. So it's a higher resolution than the iPhone 11, but still, you know, it's not, it's a lower resolution than the Galaxy S20, which is very weird. Whole plus display, fingerprint sensor in the display, 120 hertz refresh rate on this panel as well. And that in and of itself is probably one of the bigger differences and one of the bigger assets that this specific phone has that the iPhone 11 just doesn't really have and it's kind of sad so keep that in mind but definitely when it comes down to that little aspect the iPhone 11 I think the panel still looks pretty good but the Samsung Galaxy S21 for sure has a better panel for 100% of a fact on the bottom lightning port on the iPhone 11 Galaxy S21 has that USB type C port in terms of the thinness and thickness between the two Actually, I don't know. They kind of have the same thing. I think the iPhone 11 is a little bit thicker, but they both kind of feel like the same, to be completely honest. On the back, though, this is another pretty big difference between the two. The iPhone 11 has a glass back on it, which still feels extremely premium, but the Samsung Galaxy S21 has a plastic back on the device. So keep that in mind. That is another pretty big difference. I don't think it's going to really change anybody's mind on it, everything, but it's kind of weird that this device has a glass back and is cheaper, and the Samsung Galaxy S21 has a plastic back. I mean, that's definitely some crazy stuff. Dual camera setup on the iPhone 11, triple camera setup on the Galaxy S21, and in terms of the outside, Side, that really pretty much covers it up for the most part. Now moving on to pretty much I think still one of the bigger differences between these two phones and it's probably one of the only reasons why I would go from a Galaxy S21 to an iPhone 11 beyond than just everything else is probably the software. The Galaxy S21 is still going to have a really good time with software and everything but the iPhone 11 is probably going to outlast the Samsung Galaxy S21 when it comes down to it. And another thing you have to keep in mind is that we have a stock version of software on the iPhone side where we kind of have a bloated version of software on the Samsung Galaxy S21. So that's a pretty big difference in my opinion when it comes down to it. I like the stock features. I like the stockness. I like everything just not being all up in your face. I like how it's not a little, just not a super bloated and that's just, oh, and I just love the ecosystem as well. You know, my Apple Watch connects right to my iPhone, which connects to my Mac, which connects to my AirPods all simultaneously. And that's definitely a humongous feature. Samsung has already kind of tried to implement this with like the Galaxy Buds, you know, the active series with their watches and everything but I still think iOS is superior for now. That may change, but even beyond that, just looking at the sheer software updates beyond it, this, the iPhone 11 definitely wins in terms of that. So when it comes down to that, the iPhone 11 wins, but the Samsung Galaxy S21 does win in the battery department. I've been getting really good battery life on my Galaxy S21. The iPhone 11 has really good battery life too, but my S21 has been killing it in the battery department. So definitely when it comes down to that specific area, I'd probably give the S to the Samsung Galaxy S21. I think the battery life is better on the S21, but I feel like everything else with the software, the iPhone 11 probably still wins, even though it's older. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers up probably the one of the bigger differences between these two phones. Now let's go ahead and hit on the performance. The iPhone 11 has that Apple A13 Bionic chip inside of it with 4 gigabytes of RAM, but the Samsung Galaxy S21 has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset inside of it with 8 gigabytes of RAM, so twice the amount of RAM on this device than the iPhone 11. So let's go and see which one is the faster phone between both of these. Okay, now that we're back, let's go and get into it. And I think all the apps are already cleared out, as you guys can see. So let's get into it. Let's do phone calls. Three, two, one. And almost the same thing, not like a ginormous difference between the two. Let's go ahead and do music. Let's go and do camera. Three, two, one.
And I think the Samsung Galaxy S21 may actually be a little bit faster there. Or maybe the iPhone 11. I kind of looked away for a second. App stores, 3, 2, 1. And I think the Samsung Galaxy S21 is the faster one there. The iPhone 11 is stuck on the loading phase. I don't know what was going on there. Maybe it was a little glitch. I don't want to say that was the actual full performance of, between them. But that was a minor little difference. Scrolling through, you can kind of see we kind of have the same thing going on. Not a ginormous difference. If anything, I think the S21 may be a little bit smoother, but it does look like it's glitching. I think the Galaxy S21 may be a little bit messed, more messed up, to be honest. Now, as always, I have a bunch of these third-party apps we can go and get into, which are right here. Let's go into Snake versus Blocks. Three, two, one. And the Samsung Galaxy S21 is faster. The iPhone 11 a little bit behind getting into some gameplay. Let's see if there's a difference. And as always, I don't think, actually, I think the iPhone 11 may have glitched up a little bit. Maybe I'm tripping, but both kind of have the same thing going on. Not a ginormous difference at all for the gameplay aspect. Let's do stack. Three, two, one. And both were pretty similar. I don't think, again, one was faster than the other one. They kind of look like the same thing going on. Let's go and do Temple Run 2. Three, two, one. And it probably does look like the Galaxy S21 is going to be the winner here. The iPhone 11 just a little bit behind again, but not, not a big difference, you know. Actually, I think it was a noticeable difference. But still, I think the iPhone 11, for being over a year old now, is actually doing pretty well against the brand new flagship. In terms of the gameplay, they kind of seem like they have the same thing going on too. Not a ginormous difference. Let's get to the next app. Let's do Fruit Ninja. Three, two, one. And it may be that the iPhone 11 is the faster one. Nope, the Galaxy S21 was faster. We did get into a little bit of pop-up on the iPhone 11, but still to get into those pop-ups on the next pages, the iPhone, the Galaxy S21 was the faster one. Quizlet, three, two, one. And the Galaxy S21 was like instantaneous, the iPhone 11 a little bit behind. Bofa, three, two, one. And the Galaxy S21 was the faster one. iPhone 11 a little bit behind again, not a ginormous difference. Twitter, three, two, one. And the Galaxy S21 a little bit faster, the iPhone 11 a little bit behind. I don't have Paper IO 3D, unfortunately, but let's go and get into some RAM management. So let's go all the way back to the first app that we opened. Let's go and open it up. Okay, both did pretty good. Let's get to the next app. Let's go and do camera. And both pretty much did the same thing here too. Not a big difference at all. Let's get to the next app. Let's go ahead and do this one. And the Galaxy S21 actually did restart that where the iPhone 11 was able to keep that in the background. Pretty interesting. Let's go and do this one. And it kind of looked like the Galaxy S21 restarted it, but then got back into it. Let's go and end it off with this one. And both kind of restarted. So quite potentially the iPhone 11 may have done a better job at RAM management. But the Galaxy S21, I think, was the more faster one when it came down to it in the speed comparison. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. Let's go and hit on the cameras. Now on the back, as stated before, the Samsung Galaxy S21 has that triple camera setup, wide-angle lens, telephoto lens, and an ultra-wide sensor, where the iPhone 11 has a dual camera setup, a wide-angle lens, and an ultra-wide sensor. Now in terms of the UIs on both, you can see they kind of have the same thing going on as always, but probably the Samsung Galaxy S21 is going to be the better one when it comes down to the feature set. You can do 4K at 60 on both on the back and the front, but the Samsung Galaxy S21 does have the capability of shooting 8K videos on the back. So keep that in mind, that's some pretty cool resolutions that we have. Now the iPhone 11 I think has had a pretty good camera setup for the most part. I think everyone knows by now it's a really good camera setup. You have that wide angle lens, 4K at 60 on the back, 4K at 60 on the front. And I think for the majority of people out there, no matter what you're going to do with this specific camera, you're going to be perfectly content. I don't think you'd, some normal person would use this camera on an everyday basis and think to themselves like, wow, I have a super outdated camera. That is not the vibe you're going to get. You're going to get a very, very good camera setup from the iPhone 11 for sure. But as I stated, I mean, the Samsung Galaxy S21, first of all, has an additional telephoto lens, so you can zoom in more than what you can zoom in on the iPhone 11. The ultra-wide sensor, I think, is better on the Samsung Galaxy S21. I feel like you can zoom out more on this camera lens, which is cool. But I think even more so than that, the quality of these lenses are better. These quality, the, the, the quality of these lenses 
are so good. I don't think it's a crazy big improvement from the Samsung Galaxy S20, but this camera is still a really, really good camera for sure. And you have that 8K capability as well, which that in and of itself is another huge feature of this specific device. So I'll probably say the Galaxy S21 has a better camera setup, but the iPhone 11 is still a really good camera for sure. So at this point, I mean, to kind of sum up the video and say answer the question, should you go and buy an iPhone 11 or should you go and buy a Samsung Galaxy S21? Well, this is what I'll tell you. If you have either one of these phones, I wouldn't necessarily go from one device to the other. You know, I don't think I would go from an iPhone 11 to the S21 or from the S21 to the iPhone 11. These phones are so similar in so many different ways that it wouldn't make any sense. If you're coming from like an iPhone like 7 or a Galaxy S7 or something like that, then that's a little bit different situation. I would ask yourself, do you already have all your stuff on an Android or iOS or do you have a bias to one of these already? If you don't have a bias, then I would look at the phone or the device and ask yourself how long do you plan on keeping it if you want a phone that's going to last you for like seven years then the iphone 11 may actually be the better one to go now it may not last you for quite seven years but it's going to last you longer in terms of software than the galaxy s21 however if you are okay with upgrading in like the next like two to three years then get the s21 this phone has still way more features than the iphone 11 I feel like with my iPhone 11, it's a great phone for the price and everything, but it's not really like, I don't feel like I have a crazy amount of features on this device. When I look at something like the Galaxy S21 with this 8K capability, reverse wireless charging, 120 hertz in the panel, fingerprint sensor in the screen as well. I mean, these are some really cool features that I have on the Galaxy S21 that I don't necessarily have on my iPhone 11. So that in and of itself is another pretty big difference as well. I think at the end of the day though, if you can, I would probably swing for the Galaxy S21. But if you want a phone that's still super stable, it's going to have a super long life cycle in front of it. It's cheaper than the S21. You can probably pick it up for even less than 500 to be completely honest. It has a super good stable software. It's not going to really run into too many problems. And this ecosystem behind Apple is another huge event of this device. Then I'll probably end up going for the iPhone 11 to be honest. But it honestly just comes down to how long do you want to keep the device. If you're okay with upgrading in the next couple of years, then that's 21 maybe for you. But if you want a phone that's going to last you longer, but you can give up some of the features like 120 hertz, reverse wireless charging, fingerprint sensor in the display, the iPhone 11 may be the better one for you. So that's kind of how I would sum it up. Links will be down in the description, like I stated before, if you want to pick up either one of these. It can also help support the channel at the same time. That's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.